H-Town, hold it down. Welcome to Texans Today. I am Will Scott. The schedule was released last week. And on this week's show, we're breaking down the schedule. I'm going to give a prediction for every single Texans game and then give my thoughts on what I think the Texans 2023 season is going to look like. But let's first revisit the 2023 schedule. You have a tough week one matchup in Baltimore. Your home opener is against the Indianapolis Colts. Then you go to Jacksonville for week three. Pittsburgh week four. Uh, there's some winnable games there uh, in the first four games. As well as this next stretch, you go to Atlanta, who I don't think is very good for week five. Uh, week six, you host the New Orleans Saints. Your bye comes in week seven. Uh, week eight, you go to Carolina. Week nine is against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Week 10 is in Cincinnati. Week 11 is against the Arizona Cardinals at home. Uh, so you have three straight home games there against the Cardinals, the Jags, and the Broncos. Two, then two road games, I should say, in New York and in Tennessee, followed by two home games against Cleveland and Tennessee. And then, much like last year, you conclude uh, the season at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Now, predict the Texans' record. What are we thinking? Right now, Vegas has the over-under win total set at 6.5. Kind of like the over there. We'll break down, like I said, every single game, and I'll get my prediction for every game. Beginning with week one in Baltimore, this is going to be tough. Not only are you facing a really good Ravens team, you got to face them at m &T Bank Stadium on the road. Lamar Jackson, first game since signing that massive contract extension. I think this season starts with a loss. But if the Texans are competitive in this game, uh, that's going to give them some much-needed confidence going forward. 0-1 start the 2023 season. Moving on to Week 2 now. you got Anthony Richardson against C.J. Stroud. This is the Texans' first game at NRG Stadium in Houston. And I think they win it. 1-1 one one start here for the Texans. I think they will be better than the Colts. I do not like the pick of Anthony Richardson. I think the Texans hire the better coach. Uh, not that Shane Sykin's not a good coach, but I think D'Amico Ryans is the better hire. So I have Houston uh, bouncing back after that week one loss, winning their home opener in H-Town. Then you go on the road and face the Jacksonville Jaguars in week three. This was a team that won the AFC South last year, went on that big run at the end of the season. They're expected to be even better this year. So I'm going to mark this down as a loss in Jacksonville. One and two start here for the Texans to begin the 2023 season. But then you come home to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers uh, played pretty well at the end of last season, finishing 9-8. and eight. Uh, But I think they go into Houston and lose. So 2-2 two and two start here for the Texans after their first four games. Uh, this is a winnable game uh, against a team that might have a slightly better roster than you. Uh, but I think the Texans' offense is going to lead them to a victory here against Pittsburgh. They have the better offense right now already, even though C.J. Stroud hasn't even taken a snap yet. Then they go to Atlanta for Week 5. Uh, Atlanta finished 7-10 and 10 last year. I think they're going to be worse this year, and the Texans are obviously going to be far better. So I have the first road win of the season coming in Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 3-2 and two start here in the first five games. For the Houston Texans, can you imagine if they're 3-2, and two, you come home to NRG Stadium to face the New Orleans Saints, who are pretty good. They're going to be better than they were uh, last year because they do have Derek Carr. We pushed that graphic, uh, Jack. Um, I, look, I look at this game. This is a winnable game, but I think the Texans lose 3-3 three and three here uh, to start the season, but I don't think we can complain about a 3-3 three and three start here through six games. If they start 3-3, three and three, you might be thinking about the playoffs a little bit. Can the Texans make the playoffs? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Let me know. Can the Texans make the playoffs? This might be one of the more anticipated games on the Texans' schedule in Carolina. Number two pick C.J. Stroud against number one pick Bryce Young. Those two are very close. They've been very close since high school. Uh, this is going to be a really close game, a nail-biter. I think Carolina, though, is going to be sneaky good this year. I have Carolina winning at home as the Texans drop their second straight game to move to 3-4 and four on the season. But I still think C.J. Stroud plays well against Bryce Young. 
Speaking of, CJ Stroud, you can go pick up his jersey now at chatsports.com slash Stroud. Just announced he is going to be the number seven. So that is what you are going to get on your doorstep. Chatsports.com slash Stroud. CJ Stroud jerseys available right now. Moving on to week nine, you face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Uh, they're entering the post-Tom Brady era. Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask is going to be the quarterback here coming into Houston. So I think you get back on track after two straight L's and win this game. I'm going with a 4-4 four and four start here for the Houston Texans. This might be your toughest matchup of the season in Cincinnati against the Cincinnati Bengals, one of the best teams in the league, facing one of the best quarterbacks in the league in Joe Burrow. If the Texans keep it close here for a while, I'll be happy, uh, but I think they lose this game 4-5 and five after the first nine games of the season. I have them losing in Cincinnati. In my opinion, that's the toughest game. What do you think is the toughest game for the Texans here uh, during the entire season? Let me know down in the comment section. Then they come home and face Jonathan Gannon, uh, who the Texans were looking at. Very happy they went the D'Amico Ryan's route. Arizona went with Jonathan Gannon. Kyler Murray, is he going to be back healthy? Uh, a lot of question marks right now surrounding this Arizona team. I don't think they're going to be very good. So I have the Texans beating the Cardinals to move to to move to move five and 5-5 five on the season. Then they play host to the Jacksonville Jaguars in Week 12. Uh, I see this being a very competitive game. I had them losing in Jacksonville. I also have them losing in Houston to the Jags to move to 5-6 and six on the season. Jacksonville is going to be really, really good this year. I'm thinking 11 or 12 wins for them. Now we have this Week 13 matchup against the Denver Broncos. This concludes the three-game homestand for Houston, and I have them defeating Sean Payton, Russell Wilson, and the Denver Broncos. I think the Broncos will be better, uh, but I think the Texans can win this game. So I have Houston 6-6 six and six after 12 games. Then they go to the Meadowlands to face the New York Jets and Aaron Rodgers. The Jets are expected to be a strong playoff contender this year. It's going to be tough to go into New York in December and win. So I have Houston losing this game six uh, to move to 6-7 and seven on the year. You can certainly make an argument uh, that that game in New York is one of the tougher games on the Texans' schedule. Then in Week 15, they go to Tennessee. Is Will Levis going to be the quarterback? Is Ryan Tannehill going to be the quarterback? I don't know. Uh, Mike Vrabel's a great coach. I think it's going to be both to win. I think it's going to be tough to win both games against Tennessee. So I do have them dropping this game to move to six and eight on the year. So two straight L's here for the Texans. But then on Christmas Eve, they come home to NRG Stadium to face Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun, he beat you last year. He didn't play well in that game. Uh, but he still came into Houston and won. That is not going to happen this time around. C.J. Stroud outplays Deshaun in this game to move the Texans to 7-8 on the year, keeping their playoff hopes alive as they take on Tennessee in Week 17. You lost to them in Nashville. You're not losing to them in Houston. 8-8 eight and eight start here after 16 games for the Texans. So I think they're going to go into Week 18. With an outside chance to make the playoffs, they got to get it done in Indianapolis. Now, they won at Lucas Oil Stadium in the regular season finale last year, which wasn't great because they lost the number one pick. But this win will be beneficial to conclude the 2023 season. I have Houston beating Indy once again to finish the 2023 season at 9-8, and eight, a winning season. For D'Amico Ryans in his first year at the helm. I'm going to be honest. I, when I was looking through this, I did not think I was going to wind up at 9-8. I was thinking 7-10, and 10, maybe 8-9. and nine, But I think the Texans have a very gettable schedule. Predict the Texans record down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking 9-8? and eight? Are you thinking 10-7? and seven? Something worse? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, there's a lot of winnable games here for the Texans. Even some games... That I, had, that I had marked down as L's or games that I was considering picking the Texans to win. So this is a gettable schedule. You have an opportunity to make a lot of strides here in year one under D'Amico Ryans. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Texans coverage, youtube.com slash Texans TV.